Hey everybody, this is Daniel and welcome to Daniel Rambles. Today I am in Kyoto in the uh, Shijo Dori area. This very interesting uh, little alleyway here with Cartoon. <laughs> and we're looking for dinner. Uh, this is actually like one of the very, I don't know, this is kind of a cool little, cool little alleyway. It has a very interesting like little ancient feel to it. <laughs> There's a lot of these in Kyoto though, but this one is long and narrow. <laughs> and it's quite interesting. So I think what's on the menu tonight is maybe some yakitori or something. I really like to get some meat on stick. So uh, everything seems to open in about 10 minutes. So <laughs> let's see. Looks like this one has a little bit of everything. Mm. Hmm? Is that suko? Oh, that's eel. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's this one? Hot hot. Oh, it's shabu. shabu. Yeah. Do you want shabu? Uh, yeah. Okay, up to you. Okay. Can you buy yankitori? We're gonna have to look a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, those two words are a lifesaver in Kyoto. English menu. So. <laughs> There's a lot of the places you can't like get into, or they're just like kind of not for foreigners. So, yeah. English menu is definitely a lifesaver. We were actually ro roaming around kind of late last night trying to find something to eat and it just like would not happen. And it's kind of funny. Okay, so here's the park. So the place we're looking for is, I think just on the other side of this park here. <laughs> so like we're kind of in like I don't know if it's actually the case, but like New Kyoto, like this side is more like, you know, malls and things like that. And then over there is like those old, like, you know, it's where all the tourists go. It's where we're staying, <laughs> you know, like temples and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, I mean, we could wait a little bit because if we like most take a little seat here because like <laughs> most places in Kyoto don't won't um, for dinner won't open until 5 so there's no reason to really like roam around right now right now because most of the places will be closed but I'm kind of a quaint little street here <laughs> just chilling <laughs> so you enjoying Kyoto so far yeah, yeah. So cool. I think it's been a great experience Definitely not like a pass-through or day trip kind of thing and we're off season right now so it's a little more mellow uh, and we're doing two nights which I think is about perfect so we came down from Tokyo we did two nights and then uh, we're gonna head over to uh, Nara tomorrow and then uh, to Kobe and Osaka so <laughs> it's about five now <laughs> So actually, uh, Cartoon and I, we decided on doing the uh, Shabu Shabu place we passed up here with the English menu. <laughs> I was actually reading reviews of the Yakitori place right here and it was like, it seems it's very like anti-foreigner, so we're just gonna kind of avoid that, so <laughs> I'll just follow you in. <laughs> So, this is the place we ended up going with. <laughs> it's kind of just like a tidy little building. sit next to you. <laughs> cool. 
this is like really quaint and cute actually. So there's definitely two different types. There's like ones that are foreign or welcoming and there's ones that are definitely not. So it's a thing here in Kyoto, like it or not. We like walk into some other place. There was literally nobody in there, kind of like this. Like, and like, they were just like, it's full. Like, full, fully booked reservation only. It's like, what? Like, it's like 9 p.m. on a Monday. It's like nobody in here, you know? <laughs> so, kind of expect that sort of ish thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we'll do a draft, draft beer? Yeah, so she, she said the uh, draft beer is on happy hour. So, we're gonna rock that. I think it's like 380 or 350 or something. So, it's actually a really good deal. So. So we're going to do two draft beers and then, um, do we have the food menu? Oh, it's all in, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, we, I think we need the English menu. <laughs> oh. No, it says omelette. Shabu shabu shabu. Japanese beef shabu shabu pot. Yeah. Or, or do you want to do skia? This is a black soup. Yeah. Let's do it. Add that, yeah. So that menu is quite extensive, so we just got two orders of skia, sukiyaki. So, and see how it goes. <laughs> we just got this, so this is, a, this is a set. So I'm not really sure what comes in it. <laughs> Just, uh, we just finished up there. Uh, total bill came to about $65 US. So I have a little Asian glow, so apologies for that. But, uh, I think we're gonna, um, we're gonna roam around for maybe a little dessert, so stay tuned. <laughs> that was really good too. Like really good. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to add I forgot to ask what like grade that was, but that was definitely four or five, like A4 or five for sure. And it was just like melt in your mouth and really delicious. <laughs> so I am a happy camper. And, and just so you know, like, seems like in our experience that um, if you're a foreigner in Kyoto, you basically, uh, you want to um, look for like like this, where it says English menu. Yeah. So it's not that it's touristy food or it's like BS stuff or something you want to avoid. It's just that they're electing to deal with foreigners. Basically, it's like it's like it seems like a code because um, most of the other places that that don't have that sign is like they don't seem to want to even serve you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so to make a less uh, a less difficult experience for yourself, I would definitely just go for the places that say English menu, or else you're gonna get like weird excuses. On this side of the river, now we're gonna go over to, I guess, more of like the old Kyoto side. I don't even. It's it's. Is it like old Kyoto? I don't. I don't even know. But it definitely looks old, and it's where all the tourists are. So <laughs> that's where we're gonna go. There's there's a lot of dessert shops along this like road here. So we'll go check it out. The 
and then back there is newer Kyoto. Uh, the street we were on was kind of still at an old vibe, but one street over was just like totally malls and very modern and completely different feel. So it's kind of like an interesting juxtaposition, You're like old and new just smacked up right against each other. And our hotel too is like modern, but then there's a temple like right next door. So very interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert hunter over here. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice over here at night. This area is pretty cool. You'll see. We're gonna we're gonna walk over there. So this is kind of the main drag on this part of, uh, of Kyoto. There's like a lot of little shops and shopping and desserts and just like all sorts of other stuff. <laughs> is that uh, your favorite fish thing? Oh yeah, Tayaki. Tayaki? <laughs> it's a little... Hayaki stand right here. <laughs> more food. There's a lot more soba and udon down here, right? Yeah, because when you're in Tokyo, it's just ramen, ramen, ramen. But here, it seems like it's more soba udon. More, more of those shops. You know? <laughs> and like, we saw three geisha earlier too. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Walk by. Yeah. Well, I didn't have the I didn't have the camera with with me, so <laughs> missed out a bit, you know. And it's just like look at so much going on. It's just crazy. Still? Mochi does sound good though. Actually, like I could just do some strawberries or some fruit. Honestly, that might be nice. Uh, <laughs> we had some pretty good strawberries the other night. Of course, they were like fifteen dollars, but hey, <laughs> win in Rome. So this street is called Shijo Dori, and then Hanamikoji Dori is over there where you'll like see some older houses and you know, potentially some geisha. <laughs> hey, you just roll across the street on a red? Yeah. <laughs> the, whole the whole family just crossed the street on red. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're just, we're just gonna come across here and see what else we can get to. What's in here? Oh, tea, great tea. You wanna go check it out? Oh yeah, this is like a tea place. I could use a little matcha, just ice a drink. Cream? No, just a drink is fine. I don't, I don't need actual ice cream. Sold out. Oh, <laughs> oh it's sold out. Oh. Do, you, do you want to live in here? Or? It's all no? sold out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Next. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat a little cleaner today because when we were in Tokyo, I was eating like all sorts of shit. Like everything was fried and like, you know, dessert and cream. And I was just like, I, my, my stomach's a little not happy with me. So. <laughs> cool. so we're being a little particular tonight. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it's just like one long... It's kind of funny because this is like the, the more traditional version of the other side where it looks just like this but it's super modern, you know? It's kind of funny. Yeah. This is a tax-free shop too. 
you spend over 5,000 yen, they uh, credit the 10% tax back. Oh. You like these little charm things? Yeah, huh? <laughs> I like these little charm things. But I don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. I don't know. like a souvenir shop more or less or almost like stationary shop it has that vibe to it <laughs> are you translating on the app <laughs> money luck i want money luck money luck i want money luck too money luck Curtin's going kind of like going nuts late lately like at all the, all the temples she's like getting charms not all of them but like at Senso Soji in Tokyo she got a charm and I don't know maybe they work maybe they don't okay I think we've kind of decided just to uh, do some mochi or something and that sounds pretty good so. I think there's a there's a couple couple of shops like that one for sure in front and then maybe this one in the corner too so. Do you like that one? Yeah. Let's just, yeah, let's do some mochi at this one. Maybe just get the combo plate. Yeah, I got change. Maybe just like this one? That, that one's grilled. This is red bean. That's peanut butter. Uh, I don't know what this one is. What's what's, what's inside? inside? Inside red beans. Red, red bean. Beans. Oh, so they're all gone. Right here, so. okay. Oh, there's, there's grilled one. That looks kind of interesting. It's this all one? three. Yeah. It's Can we get this one? Hi. Yeah. Sit there. Can we sit here? To eat? No? Huh? What's that? Oh, oh. oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, he'll just. Okay, I don't know. I guess they're 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 closed. <laughs> but yeah. So, kind of got some interesting stuff. I'll just sit on the corner here. I don't care. I'm getting crazy. I don't care, it's fine with me. <laughs> We're just gonna like park our asses on the uh... <laughs> I guess we're in front of some kind of shrine too, look. Oh no. Maybe we move maybe we'll move a little over a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we got the green one. The green, the black, yeah. Um... I know what this tastes like. Um, I'm curious about the green one. Is that the black bean? No, it's red bean. Still red probably. Bean? I think that's a red bean paste filling for sure. I'm gonna guess. And this one, huh? You want me to? I'm gonna go for it. I think it's green tea or matcha. Or something. Mm. Matcha? Hmm. There's something inside it. I don't know. I think that's green beans. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the other dessert bean in Asia. I, I like the mochi here though. It's like so like gooey. Oh the... Mm. Yeah, that red bean for sure. Mm, that's like a sweet red... Mm. That is a sweet salty combination. Right? It's like sweet, salty, it's kind of like has both. Mm. I'm gonna try this one now. Now this one seems to have like some growths on it. Maybe it needs to see the doctor, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it has some growths. <laughs> mm. 
No, this is just sweet. That seems like this is sweet and salty red bean. That's sweet red bean with red beans stuck on the outside of it. Yeah. And then this one is like... This is like... This is like a green bean or like a mung bean. I like the texture of the mochi on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's very like... It's like elastic-y, but it's not like chewy. It like breaks pretty clean when you bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like most? Mm, I like the green one. Mm -hmm. The green one is good. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, no. <laughs> thank you guys for joining our um, Kyoto evening outing. Little dinner dessert, maybe a little. Day or night action, perhaps a little uh, what to do in the evening in Kyoto. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.